So this is the whole bunch here <laughs> of our newest addition. The little guinea fowls, they go now to their own uh, place. The little guys were here sitting in our bathroom actually and waiting for their time to get back to mom. Uh, we're always doing it because they were like hatching from like three days each day one or two and the mom was still sitting so that is why we are keeping the hatched one here in the safe place while she's still sitting so now she stopped she's not sitting anymore on the eggs probably they won't hatch anything else there so we can put them back in oh the little ones go to the mama now it looks like they are getting united so all good here hi guys i'm eva from permaculture heaven i hope you're all doing well today just a quick update about our um birds paradise <laughs> what is happening here i made actually i think two or three videos about the food forest we have built for the for the birds today just a quick update how are they doing uh what's happening here what's new so yeah just come uh, with me for a little tour enjoy and if you have any questions or comments please put them in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe if you still didn't so let's get into it this is the first food forest for the birds um, in there they are actually only little guinea fowls at the moment and i show you why um, so let's have a quick look you can see beautiful uh, bean climbing all over the place here and in there we have all the grains growing we can go in there quickly and have a look so there are the little guinea foals they are in their own paradise because they are not eating much and it still can grow if you want to see how we built the food forest just go and check our other videos i will put the links at the end of the video so the little ones sleep in there for the night and during the day roaming free here so we won't find them in the jungle <laughs> uh, just a quickly to those who don't know how it works we've got two main um like a little food forest for the birds uh, swift perennials and some annuals that's what you see here for the the grains actually this is a simple grain whole grain we buy to feed them and sap is just yeah just sprinkling them around when the while the chooks are in the other food forest and so on and so forth so this stuff can grow here while the chickens are in the second place i will show you in a minute and yeah it's working really really good um you can see here uh, we have you can see we can we have here the bean growing beautifully some beans already in there so for the birds or for ourselves or for residing um still some beautiful loofah growing here for them so they also love the seeds so if it's go ripe so they can eat the seeds as well it looks like i don't see i won't find the guinea falls now to show you you just have to believe me <laughs> anyway there are some loofahs growing as well we are feeding them regularly just cut in half when it's ripe before it gets woody and the birds love it and there are some perennials over there and in between some young perennials as well let's get out of here now and we go around okay so let's go around here 
This is all built from recycled material apart from the mesh. I put lots of information about the food forest in the previous videos if you want to know more about it. So now to show you. And no need to close the birds for the night because they are yeah roaming free. Everything is pretty safe for them here. Also at the bottom. Uh, here is some molufa and here starts the second food forest of where the chickens uh, are at the moment. You see that they still didn't eat all the grain and everything. They are roaming in there as well. And yeah, still getting the loofahs and everything. And picking the grain how they pleased or when they when it falls down. So this is the second place. The chicken coops are built from uh, old garage doors from the recycling center, from the tip shop. And this metal roads, what you can see, this supporting the roof are actually from the garage doors as well. So everything is being reused. They are still nice and safe in here. I in between I can show you the old guinea falls. They are always free roaming, sleeping on the highest trees around here. So here's some new projects going on. So yeah, the guinea falls, the adults going where they want to go and laying the eggs where they want to lie. So it's always a challenge to find them if we want young ones. <laughs> and here, here are the chickens. So hiding in between the, the greens. I think they cannot complain if you ask me. So if everything, uh, once everything has been eaten from here, they will move to the food forest which has been before the first one. And the, the game goes from beginning. So we will just put some grain on the, um, on the ground and sprinkle some water if there is no rain and yeah everything can grow we still have to put some uh, perennials in here we have some young ones you can see the cages in there to protect it so there are actually at the moment uh, five young perennials which will grow into a yeah little food forest we will add more of them so yeah, they are where the chickens are sleeping. So we are, we don't have to close them because everything is safe. So they go in the morning when they want to and go back in whenever they like. So, and here is our breeding station <laughs> in there. They are all used um, lawnmower cages. The girls are sitting there actually on uh, I will show you quickly they are sitting on the guinea fall eggs actually so here they are they just love sitting on eggs and the guinea falls are not very good moms so we are happy about our chooks sitting on the eggs. So we always have fresh supply on the guinea fowls. So 
so and here is the cage from the first food forest where the guinea falls go for sleep the little ones so what else do we have here we have a beautiful elderberry this one is uh, one and a half years old yeah and a mulberry and more trees planted and that is the other part of the birds enclosures so the geese are oh here our puffy hello puffy <laughs> yeah hello say hello hello puffy <laughs> yeah good boy yeah the ducks here usually the they stand geese are sleeping in here but they are always going out for the day and yeah here are the ducks they also got a beautiful paradise at the back but also going out to the den and swimming in there so and here are our little cuties so yeah i hope and it looks good yeah they care about your babies okay and let's go over here now we've got three um muscovy ducks two girls and one boy they are actually leaving yes hello <laughs> there, there they are they leaving separated to the other ducks because we don't want to cross them when you cross normal duck with muscovy they cannot uh yeah reproduce anymore there will be a mix like you can see these little guys here they are ducks cross muscovy and yeah they will grow happily but they will never have babies so and these guys here living also in their own paradise they are very quiet lovely birds don't make any noise basically and yeah live happily here yes hello <laughs> not lying any eggs nothing they pretty much lazy at the moment but it will come i guess and yeah this is the back this is the place where the ducks live basically where they sleep because they're going out for the day except they have little ones and we have some eggs in there if you can see so we might get some more ducks so yeah that's pretty much it for today um i hope you like the little update about our birds let us know if you have any questions or comments and don't forget to subscribe if you still didn't. So yeah, have a good one and see you next time. Bye.